Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and I get a lot of questions on the safety of welding, and can it be hazardous to your health? And the answer is absolutely, it can be hazardous, especially when you get the questions like, can you weld galvanize? Can you weld anything that's got a coating or paint? Uh, it, it, when I'm welding, I see uh, a lot of smoke coming up. Is that hazardous to me? And the answer is yes. Uh, I've got some brackets here that uh, I got down at the hardware store. They're cadmium plated. You know, is that cadmium hazardous to my health? And the answer is yes. Uh, so in many cases, when you're in an outside environment, your hood covers everything you need. But in this particular case, we're going to show you that it doesn't. And not only am I going to uh, weld some cadmium, you know, the question is, well, can't I just grind off the cadmium or, or galvanize? Well, anyone that's ever done that knows that it's just a coating. It's just a coating and you just can't get it all off. So when you're welding, you can see all this crud and corruption coming up. Now, I'm going to weld this and I've got this Zepcan 2000 heavy duty clear penetrating grease. I'm going to spray grease on here. So you're going to see an awful lot of smoke. Uh, not only do I have the hazard fumes, the smoke, there's all kinds of things that are out there that are hazardous to you. So if you have any concern, you may want to consider going to one of these types of respiratory systems. Now, it looks like a normal welding helmet, and it, and it pretty much is, but I'm going to put it on, and it, it, it actually encompasses you. It's got a little uh, a drawstring. I'm actually going to induce air into the back of the helmet. If you ever watch some of these uh, race car drivers, you'll see air going into them. It's very s similar to this. There's a HEPA filter in here. Uh, and this is battery operated, it's rechargeable. So it needs to be easy enough to use, look at it. And, and it, it really is. So when I, when I push a button here to start, I, I, I could actually feel the air. Now, there's a, a, a series of buttons that you can push trying to get more air out of it. But one of the things you do is uh, this comes with it and you can just hold it up there and you can see visually that you're getting air. So that's just a little tool that comes with it. Now, I can increase the fan speed and I've got one, two, three, four, I've got several settings on here, I think up to about eight, uh, and it increases the air. So if you're in a really rough environment, uh, this is the way to go. So I'm not gonna be able to talk to you much uh, as soon as I get this all put on, but this uh, straps around just like a belt, and this plugs in to the back of the helmet and twist, and it locks in. So you can see it's like a bag that wraps around your chin. And uh, I've already tried this on once already, and, and you can feel the air motion going on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put all this gear on. I'm gonna get ready, I'm gonna weld this on DC. And again, it, all it is is it's steel, it's coated with something bad, uh, whether it be cadmium or whether it be galvanized. It's gonna pop, it's gonna be ugly, and you're gonna do the same, uh, same thing, the same results as I do. So. Um, let me get all this gear on and I'll demonstrate to you. Okay, I can, uh, I, I can hear the air in the helmet. It's not terribly bad. I can feel uh, a, you know, a nice breeze coming through here. I'm getting ready to start the arc. Okay, now this has got zinc in it, so you'll see the plating, that zinc plating start vaporizing, and it's okay to some degree. You know, you can see a nice clean puddle. But, you know, I've got oil on there and I've got zinc. Uh, these are all nasty things that I really don't want to be breathing. The only thing I haven't put on here is paint of any kind. Um, this, this stuff, it, it, it welds okay. Right now, I'm just doing a fusion weld just to show you the puddle and, you know, the type of smoke and everything that, uh, you know, like I'm, I'm hitting some pretty heavy oily greasy areas right here and even though it's welding you know and, and this is this is typically an outside type project but I mean I, I can see the smoke being horrible and uh, inside the helmet here I'm doing just fine so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off here and tail off on my arc 
and uh, and there I'm finished. Okay, now that I've finished doing a weld here, I've only got about a three or four inch weld, but you could see that there was smoke coming up. Uh, and there's some, some things that are pretty bad for your lungs that you can't see. Uh, so I'd never used one of these types of helmets before. I'd always got in a, a well-ventilated area. I've located fans in certain areas. And I often wonder how much damage I've caused myself. Now, one of the things I was kind of curious on this welding helmet, I looked on the inside, it's a digital helmet, and it goes from a shade 5 to a 14. Now, I was welding this at about a shade 10, but I'm just wondering, I, I get into some uh, situations where I've got everything from dust to oils in the air, if I could have continued to use this helmet just as a respirator. And uh, at a 5, you can see real well, like you can grind your tungsten you know, with a 5. You can do other chores inside the shop. So, uh, I mean, kudos to this helmet. Uh, it's got a big, wide face on it. It's got a five inch by four inch uh, quick change lens in it, uh, digital. So that worked out real well. Again, I, I had never used one before and it was quite comfortable to use. The air flowing inside, uh, it, it just, it was like a, an air conditioner, if you will. Uh, so uh, I'm watching all this nasty thing going on in front of me where I'm used to holding my breath. Uh, anyway, uh, overall, uh, i got to give it a thumbs up. So uh, thanks, guys at ARC-1 for uh, providing this for me. I, I don't have the cost or information on this. Uh, I just wanted to test it out. Uh, so if you need information, uh, go to well.com. They'll give you all the technical specs on it. So thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.